So here's the little backyard baby I made. And this is made from cement, wood, and styrofoam. And I'm going to show you how this was made. So here I am uh, starting to measure and cut out the pieces of styrofoam and uh, the reason why I use styrofoam is to minimize weight and it, these parts aren't really bearing any weight of the cement so I can get away with using the styrofoam and it's really light and gets the job done. So here I'm adding house wrap and this is to prevent any moisture from getting inside the wood which would cause the wood to start rotting and expand and it would cause problems down the road with the cement. And here I'm adding some special tape. This tape is used to cover the seams and to really get a good seal so to prevent to the best of our ability any moisture getting in there and uh, you know you'll see this house wrap on a lot of buildings as they're being constructed and that's where I got the idea to use it from and you can get this at a lot of uh, home improvement stores Now the ratio for this cement mix is one part uh, Portland cement and two parts common sand and you're you're mixing it to a pretty thick consistency
we got it to this point and we're gonna let this set so we can work on it flipped over So after letting the piece set, it's not completely set and it's actually a good time to do any sanding if there's any sanding to be done because the cement is not fully cured so it's a lot easier to sand and if you're going to sand it, that's the time to do it. Now, I ended up doing two coats of this, and that seems to be enough. And here is the finished product. And it actually fits nicely on the back of the other cement sculpture I made. Um, turned out nicely.